Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 9 of my Civilization 5 playthrough. Uh, if you want to know uh, the settings I used for the game, uh, go back and watch the start of part 1. Uh, that I take you through the mods and everything that I'm using there. Uh, pr previously, I've been working through the middle game here, where uh, I'm really just consolidating my uh, strength, and I'm just about to the point where I will be expanding my military uh, to make it so that the other uh, civilizations aren't likely to attack. You may have noticed uh, over the past several parts that the length of time that the other civilizations take to, uh, to uh, play out their turns has been increasing. And that's just going to get worse as the game continues. So while I managed to do about 70 turns in the previous part, it will probably steadily decrease from this point on. I see I've got barbarians over here that I need to deal with. That's just a brute, so I'll see if the scout can deal with that. Um, okay, I've managed to uh, build a farm there. Uh, that's a hill, so... But it's also plain, so I'm not sure uh, if... If I'll uh, go for a farm. Yeah, there's lots of planes around here, so I think I'll go for uh, actually a mine there. Okay, is he pulling my leg? No, that's real. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Minor defeat, but we're within our border, and that guy has healing every turn, so... Um, yeah, I was putting a mine there, so... Or was I? No, I'm gonna put a farm there. Getting that guy on land is going to improve things there, I think. I'm going to have to take out this bloody pikeman. Yeah, I'll be able to take that guy out pretty quick. So that will be... Uh... Oh, right, I have double attack on that. Okay, what, what am I doing here? One, two, three, one, two... Okay, that's in range. Uh, there really isn't anything else to do there but the uh, farm, so I'll do that. Bugger's going to pillage that camp, I think. Um, oh. Oh, well, that solves that. Uh, so I've got my farm there. 
And we'll put another one here. Should be able to take out that archer real quick here. Okay, I can let that guy heal now. Ah, that's the annoying part about running trade routes is you have to restart them all the time. There we go. Cleared that. So, allies for a brief period here. Um... Wine and iron. Huh. And culture. Might be worth bribing these guys to keep them as an ally for a while. So I'll do that. And it'll run through there. I think there's probably an encampment somewhere around here. Uh, that barbarian over there had to come from somewhere. Now, if I go quiet for uh, periods at this point, it's likely because there isn't much to actually say. Um, but I'll use the scout here to see. Ah, oh, there is. There's the uh, the encampment. Well, apparently I'm not getting the Himeji Castle. Uh, I suspected I wouldn't. Uh, there's a lot of wonders in Civilization V, so it's quite likely that you won't get the uh, wonders that you're aiming for. But, let's see what options we have for building here. Okay, Circus Maximus is happiness. That's science. The Red Fort. I think the Red Fort is worth going for here. Um, I talked about it last time around. Okay, what have I got here? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, no, that's not in my border, so I can't do that yet. So I'll start improving there. I really should build a farm on that wheat. Okay, so I built a harbor here. Now for the seaport. Uh, okay. Work my way over to that uh, encampment there. I feel like I should be making a, uh, a video with uh, witness the blue badger in its native environment, whatever a blue badger is, but you know. 
I feel like I should be making one of those lame nature documentaries. Um, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do the harbor there too. Yeah, I said I was going to be building military, but I really need to get the production up in those coastal cities as well, so that as they grow, they actually make production better. Okay, I'm just about there for that uh, encampment to clear it. On the upside, when we didn't get the Himeji Castle, we got 900 plus gold, so uh, that's uh, helpful at least. There we go. That's a crossbowman. Okay, that just about takes that one out, so there we go. Cleared the Barbarian. See, that uh, double attack is uh, really quite powerful. Ah, right, uh, I need to re-up that. Let's take a look at what Soul's doing. So I'm gonna have a great engineer real soon now. Now there's two things you can do with great engineers. You can uh, use them to hurry uh, wonder, or you can actually uh, plant them on the landscape uh, manufactory. Uh, which uh, is more effective than a mine. And it can uh, turn marginal land into uh, production land, uh, which can be quite useful. I'm going to bring my uh, uh, musket man back home there. Um, I can actually upgrade some of these units here. I'm going to do that. I'm not to the upgrade for the Huacha yet. Uh, what have I got over here? Right, this guy. Oh, wow. An archer. So upgrading these guys actually improves my... Uh, ranking in the pointiest sticks rank. Okay, that's economics. Let's look at the technology tree. I think that brings us to the industrial era. Well, archaeology does. Everything but chemistry does. You know, I'm going for uh, chemistry. Is the uh, cannon will be uh, good. That's the upgrade for the... That, that comes after the trebuchet, or huacha in this case. kind of amusing that they have the Huacha in here 
given that it really isn't all that practical of a weapon. Uh, the uh, Mythbusters actually uh, uh, attempted to build one, tested it out, and they found that it wasn't as uh, convenient as uh, one might hope. It would be devastatingly effective in the right circumstances, but a group of archers would be just as effective in most cases. A bunch of longbowmen would, would be particularly devastating compared to a huacha, though one might be effective in a defensive uh, um, situation where you had it uh, placed already and primed. Okay, one, two, okay, that's... And that is a hill. So this is about all I can do with it. So the gold uh, here is uh, building quite quickly. Uh, we're getting 26 from religion. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, looks like about eight turns or so, six turns for uh, the next policy. Uh, that should make a big difference as well. Ooh, looks like we get Pisa. So that's actually good, we got that. So now we have our great engineer in Seoul. And we have, we can choose our great person who's also going to be a great engineer. Great engineers are very useful, as you can see. Um, 23 turns for the Taj Mahal. Uh, what happens if I change it to a production focus? 17. Yeah, that's worth doing. Okay, so here... Um, right, okay. Uh, okay, I'll uh, build my uh, unit stuff here. Um, I'm going to hurry the Red Fort. And I'm going to park the uh, engineer outside the city. Uh, the reason I've been concentrating most of my wonders in Seoul is because... Uh, then you can get some really, really substantial culture build from that one city. Spreading the wonders out spreads the culture out, but there's some bonuses that uh, uh, accrue if you keep them all in one place that just add up better. At least that's been my uh, observation anyway. Okay, that's the Red Fort. Um have a mine over there. Oh, the bananas are in uh, in the border now, so I can develop them. Uh, let's see. One. This is in range, so... Okay, what... So I should build some of these. I'm going to build the National College. That's... Um, that science boost will be really good. Oh, that guy got home. 
Okay, we're building a mine there. Uh, okay. What is this, two turns? Yep. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna put a mine here. Improve the uh, bananas. You may have noticed that I don't build the uh, trading posts a lot. The reason I don't is, for the most part, gold isn't the issue that I have uh, by this point in the game. So I stick with the other improvements that aim for growth and construction. Uh, trading posts were the only option for tundra tiles uh, in the stock game though, so in that case you don't have a lot of options. Okay, I'm actually going to improve the wheat. And we still can't make it to Seoul from there. Cape Town's still the best deal, so we'll do that. And we can do a policy. Um, <coughs> this is a good one. It gives us plus gold and less unhappiness for the citizens in the capital. And this is why I go for the bigger population in the capital, why I'm sending food there. So we'll take that one. <coughs> this one is probably the one I'll go with next, and then that one to finish it out. So chemistry's coming up in nine turns, so we'll be able to upgrade the uh, watches to cannons. And I think that's when I'll start building cannons for all my cities, because they make a good defensive weapon for the cities. If I was going to invade, I'd also build some extra ones so that I could use them for, uh, you know, um, attacking the cities as well uh, given that they're ranged and it's actually quite uh, quite helpful so we don't have a lot going on per turn here um, fairly soon I think I'll send out some additional settlers. I'll, I'll do that after I've uh, finished off uh, tradition Because I want to do that as quickly as I can to avoid uh, this number going up too fast too soon. Okay, I need to re-up that. Okay, so what have we built? We built the seaport here. Excellent. Uh, what to build here? Well, let's look at the city proper here. We don't have a lot of production going on just yet. But we will as the city grows. Anyway. Windmill is plus two production and engineer slots. And the zoo is... Ha I'll go with the zoo here because we need the happiness in the empire. Seoul is up to 19 uh, citizens. Okay. 
the vote in the uh, World Congress is coming up real soon now. Uh, looks like somebody's going to try and convert some cities here. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a seaport here. So we could build some uh, buildings here. Um, a garden might be good to build. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll do that. Great people are really useful, so if you can increase them... And since we've got these um, buildings here, it's worth doing. Something I haven't talked about uh, yet is uh, that I never uh, pledge protection to the city-states. Uh, there's no real lasting benefit for doing that. All it does is raise your uh, resting influence with the city-state. And that's not nearly so useful as you might think it is. Also, it can cause some diplomatic confusion. Uh, and uh, you'll find out that you're constantly um, having to respond to... Uh, to other civilizations bullying the city-states you're protecting. And it's just tedious. And you have to always uh, condemn them for it. Uh, which, you take a minor diplomatic penalty for doing that. But the... So, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But, it's such a royal pain dealing with it. Uh, and, you know, it can come every every turn sometimes. And it's just really annoying. So I don't bother with that. You don't actually gain any extra uh, anything from the city-states for doing that. Okay, so that's another... Um, so here... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three... That covers that. One, two, three... Okay, so that fills in all of the land spaces reachable by this city. And all of the resources in range from it. So I will send this guy over. Uh, over this way, actually. One, two. To uh, fill in the gaps over there. At some point, I should probably build a road around down here, uh, just for transportation purposes. It doesn't gain anything for the trade network, but it does uh, make moving units around a little faster. While there isn't much of anything going on in here, um, I'll actually uh, mention what I'm using to do these, uh, these screen recordings. I'm actually using a program called Simple Screen Recorder on Linux, and that uh, is able to, with some simple, relatively simple preparation work, uh, capture any OpenGL uh, program output. That means it's capturing the uh, window text or contents um, without uh, without me having to worry about other windows being on top and things like that. Now, uh, industrialization uh, allows me to build factories, and I want to do that because I want to build several factories to get. Uh, to get uh, an ideology opened up. So I'll go for industrialization. That also reveals coal. And I've got a spy. So I planted a spy here. Uh, but who's up here? This is... Um... Who is it?
is that? I, I can never remember the names. Uh, there or Byzantium. Uh, well, um, let's see. Well, that's the Maya. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, send my uh, diplomat there. The diplomat or spy choice actually depends on whether you pick the capital or not. Um, okay. So far, so good. Oh, I'm, I'm up to 175 culture per turn here. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, National College in 16 turns, that'll be good. Now I'm to the point where if I did end up with a gold deficit, it's not going to uh, make a huge impact on my science. And that's kind of nice. But given the amount of gold I've got going on, I'm not likely to have a deficit either. Um, okay, I'm over here. What is this? Okay, it has grasslands on a river, so I'm going to make a farm there. Ah, World Congress is in session. Now, do I care about the marble thing uh, enough that I'll vote on it? Yes, I will uh, say no to the luxury ban. And I'll vote one yes there, three no. Um, I don't really care if this one passes, but I, I find it annoying when uh, luxuries are banned. And then I happen to acquire that luxury. Uh, it's just annoying. So we'll commit the delegates there. And we'll find out on the next turn how that went. do the friendship with with her scholars and residents passed uh, we had four votes total there and we had a whole lot of nays there so yeah, that was a fairly safe bet. Um, now we have uh, another proposal to make. This time I am going to propose the World's Fair. I've got my cities so that they're actually pr producing pretty decently. So I have a good chance of taking first place there, with, which comes with doubling your culture output for 20 turns, which is actually quite quite good okay this is in range here so I'll put a mine there as well so in 90 turns we'll have a vote on that so Polynesia proposed the, the marble ban apparently uh, that I think means they were the second uh, highest scoring or the highest scoring that wasn't the host um, Poland apparently likes the uh, um, World's Fair idea. And apparently the Inca do as well. Now you may have noticed that I don't spend any particular time spreading my religion around. The reason for that is it pisses off your neighbors if you do that. Uh, so it's not worth that. And it's also... Uh, I've got better things to do with the faith points. Uh, like we're in the industrial era now, so we can actually purchase great people. 
that's a mine there. Ah, uh, right, okay. Uh, what do we... Well, let's look at the whole city here. Um, right. We'll put that back on default. Now. Um, let's see. Observatory. That's plus science. Um, and that needs a mountain next door, so... Yeah, let's build that. Uh, it's 11 turns on the National College still. Uh, let's see. Here, I've built a harbor, so we'll build a seaport to go with it. Uh, here, we've finished the seaport now. So, I'm going to... Oh, we're behind on culture there. I'll catch that up. No, again, not doing the friends thing. Uh, I'm Switzerland, totally neutral. I'm not making friends with anybody. But I'm not denouncing anybody either. Uh, likely at some point someone's going to declare war on me, but that's uh, an issue for another time. A great musician. Okay, so I've improved the wheat there. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll head over there and start working my way through stuff. Uh, we'll create a great work. You know, the tourism isn't a bad thing to accumulate, so why not? I'm holding this uh, engineer in reserve uh, for uh, for the next wonder that I want to build. Uh, what's Big Ben? Great merchant points and gold. Uh, that requires I open commerce in the policy trees. Ooh, the Inca stole navigation. Ah! Um... Right, so I'll re-up that. You'll notice every era, the amount from the uh, trade routes goes up. Uh, re-up that. And apparently I'm getting a text message. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's just somebody wants to check in, apparently. Okay, well, let's get on with this here. Right, we are going on to another turn here. Uh, what's going to finish here? Oh, uh, the garden, okay. This waiting thing is tedious. Okay. Well, that's going to be a mine. There's no question there. Uh, we built a garden there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think this is a good time to build... Uh, where is it? We'll build our cannons. The upgrade from crossbowmen is the Gatling gun. And that reduces the range by to one. So basically you've you've got a melee unit that's ranged attacks. Um, you know, the net result. 
and it's not really all that useful for city defense anymore. Um, so that's why I'll be going with the uh, cannons in the cities. Yeah, we'll keep that going, sure. Uh, over 200 culture per turn right now. Uh, a great artist. So 27 turns to the next policy. Uh, unit needs orders, a great artist. So I can make a great work. Um, but I'm gonna actually check here. Uh, what's the theming bonus for the Sistine Chapel? Same era and civilization. So what I should do is sit on the, the wait a minute. Um, well, if I buy me an artist, then I can make sure they're in the same era. So create the great work. So that was that, um, uh, I think it was that reformation belief I selected that allowed me to uh, purchase any kind of great person with the uh, industrial era, uh, which is kind of nice. So with the theming bonus, uh, it'll actually be a plus two on the, uh, um, oh right, yes, the great artist. It'll go in the Sistine Chapel. And if you observe, instead of two, we got four out of that. So I'll show you that. See, here is the theming bonus. Um, so that was actually worth the 3,000 faith to do that. Uh, so we'll uh, get things rolling again. Uh, he wants truffles. Oh yeah, I guess the other deal ended. I don't want iron. So, no. Um, no. I'm more interested in gold. He's offering some gold. So I'll accept that one. Two gold doesn't seem like much, but it does add up over time. I'm actually building up a gold buffer here. Um, once you have enough gold coming in per turn, it actually starts to be feasible to uh, buy off city-states. And that's how you win your uh, diplomatic victory, is by buying off the city-states and keeping them as your allies. If you can get high enough, far enough out in front of the other civilizations, then it becomes unlikely that they'll actually become, like, supplant you as an ally. Unless they spend their spies on shenanigans in the city-state. Okay, one, two, three, one, there we go. Okay, so we've built an amphitheater. So let's work on getting our culture up there as well. So I'm gonna need what? One, two, three or four settlers to fill this area in. Uh, 
Okay, so we'll build a farm there. about 45 minutes for this uh, this part so far uh, I think we'll be able to get to industrialization ah a great writer this is actually nice uh, if I do a treatise that'll get me a get me up to the next social policy if I wait a few more turns this number that the number of culture I get will go up because of the golden age but I'd rather take the uh, social policy now. Um, yet. Yeah. Uh, right, this one is the uh, uh, really nice one that so I'm going to go for that one. You notice my, uh, my happiness went up because I have cities, lots of cities that are up to 10 population. Um, okay, so there's that. I'm going to get the National College next turn. I really do, I really should open up rationalism, uh, but I think I'll go for aesthetics um, uh, first uh, for the culture. And there we have uh, industrialization, and as luck would have it, none of the coal is actually being mined. Well, we'll set up the uh, work here. Uh, that was the harbor there. Do the seaport. Uh, science. Uh, we'll go for <coughs> archaeology, I think. Yeah, we'll go for archaeology. Uh, uh, there's one there. Oh, that one's going to connect, uh, and that's got enough to build the three factories. Okay, we're not so bad off there. Uh, that's not so much of a huge thing, but the Circus Maximus with the happiness is worth doing. I will, however, yeah, I'll build that. And then we have here... Uh, we've built the seaport, so... I'll start uh, with the gold buildings there. Uh, <coughs> okay, we've improved the bananas. Uh, what next? Uh, one, two... Okay, so this guy we can improve. Okay, so this is a hill, so I'll mine it. Okay. Oh, we've got our gold, our coal connected. So, uh, in some production-heavy cities, we'll want to um, construct um, factories now. But I'll send this worker over to that coal. 
send this one over here. So it looks like we're going to get first ideology, which means uh, it doesn't matter which one we pick, we'll get two free tenants. And that will be quite good. Oh, let's take a look. How much is a factory to purchase? 2400 Oh, yeah, that's not a good uh, investment, really. When I can just wait that stuff out and uh, then build them hard. Okay. I'll be able to build... Uh, start my remaining uh, coal mines there. Uh, apparently I'm the most literate uh, number of technologies, so I have now taken the lead uh, scientifically. Um, okay, that's seven coal. Nice. Uh, that's a cannon. I'll uh, park the archer somewhere. And uh, set up the cannon and we'll build here a factory uh, and here uh, that's uh, three coal but we'll mine that Golden Age is going to end in five turns here. Four turns, I think, actually. Okay, so we've mined that. That's grassland. We're going to put a farm there. Um, see, here's the Gatling gun upgrade. Might as well upgrade it since I'm not using it in the city anymore. And actually, here is a good spot for a Gatling. because You can actually uh, go after boats there. Uh, so there is that. Actually, I'm going to park it here. Uh, <clears throat> then it can defend this peninsula thing. The boats will have to go by here. So if you had Gatling guns lining this area, nobody would ever get into uh, to this uh, bay here to actually do anything. Okay, so we'll uh, re-up the... Uh, the trade route there. And we have a cargo ship there. Uh, we still can't reach our capital, but that is still good. Uh, we were putting a farm there. Um, observatory in five turns there. Uh, we're actually growing now, that's good. And we're up to 20 citizens in Seoul. built us ourselves a farm there. Well, that's in range, so upgrade that. Uh, fortify that guy. ready for construction there. Uh, we can build a factory there too. Um, more text messages apparently.
And my golden age has ended. Thirty-four turns to the next policy. Um, I could certainly speed that up by uh, purchasing a great writer, uh, which, in fact, I'm going to do. Because I should get a pretty solid uh, result out of him, just out of the golden age. Aesop, apparently. So we'll write a treatise. Doesn't quite get me there, but in five turns now instead of 30 some. Okay, so far so good there. One, two, so this one is in range. So we'll get an observatory in Daegu. Okay, this is plain, so yeah, we'll definitely want to farm there. Uh, production here, factory is 42 turns, um, but we only have one coal currently, so I'll put a garden there. Uh, we got 12 turns for the circus here, circus maximus. Build your factories fifty five here. What I'll uh, do here is I'll uh, work on my uh, military. Uh, right, upgrade things as well. Opera House here. Factory's 35. That's still a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Zoo is good there. I want to make sure this number stays higher. Um, when I get the right policies, uh, half of this number will add to the culture. And also, the bigger this number, the faster you get to Golden Ages. So... Uh, it's worth keeping that number as high as you can. Uh, oh, we got to re up yet another one. And uh, park that guy. Uh, where are we at here? Okay. I'm going to get a social policy this turn, I think. This one will require just a little bit of thinking. There we go. Uh, if we close this out, we get 15% uh, growth and a free aqueduct in our first four cities. Uh, we don't need the purchasing great engineers aspect. So I'm not sure that that's going to be as helpful. Uh, rationalism gives us 10% science, uh, which uh, could be useful, and allows us to build the porcelain tower. Um, commerce uh, would give us uh, 
the ability to, to build Big Ben and uh, increases gold in the city by 25 percent. Aesthetics though um, allows us to earn uh, great writers, artists, and musicians faster and allows building the Uffizi. So if I go for aesthetics I get uh, I get onto that road. Exploration, um, we really want to open up exploration entirely, complete it, so we can see hidden archaeological sites, but that's not so important. Um, more influence for gifting city-states is, is a, a good one. And the resting point up to 20 is also a good one here. Um, for science, this is ideal. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, but what I'm going to do, this is extra growth and food in the capital. So I'm actually going to take that one. Uh, that saves us on aqueducts, maintenance in our first four cities, and it improves the food in Seoul. So it's... Um, Let's see what it gives us now. Um, so, right, anyway. Uh, on we go. Uh, we're up on an hour here, so I'm going to be calling this apart soon. Uh, You know, we've, we've got a while before the next social policy, and uh, uh, we don't have enough faith to hurry that, so uh, there you go. Um, I need to build that uh, third factory somewhere. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to buy it in uh, uh, Seoul. Uh, there we go, that's the first factory. Uh, and then we got uh, about 17 turns before the, th the other two uh, finish constructing. And it looks like one of those mines completed as well. Uh, no, we're not going to do the friendship thing. Okay, so, oh, okay, what have I got here? Yeah, that mine completed. Uh, one, two, yeah, that tile is workable. Okay. I'll get that worker operating, and then I'll uh, call this apart, I think. Okay, so we'll get the farm building there, and uh, okay, yeah, so that that's it for for that turn, I think. Yeah. So, um, oh, that'll complete in a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna call call that the end of the part here. So I'll save the game. Uh, that's turn 839. Uh, remember, there's roughly 1,500 turns in the game. So we're more than halfway to the end by turn count. But uh, I'm not sure uh, we only got 60-odd uh, turns through this time. Uh, so it's going to uh, be, be a slog from this point on. Uh, this is... Uh, one of the drawbacks of the marathon mode and that's why people don't play marathon in multiplayer anyway uh, that's it for part nine i believe it is and uh, if you've watched this far thanks for watching i'll see you next time